There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up, what's up? I have been waiting all week to do this video, like for realsy. I got me a new braid wig. Now, if you guys have seen the last video or if you have not, make sure you check it out. I'll definitely link it below for you guys, but I have another braid wig from Fabulosity Hair, and this one is the Sheila Unit. Girls, let me tell y'all something. First of all, I already said I done been through enough braid wigs that was definitely not to my liking. The last one that I wore, which was the Tasha Unit, is available at Fabulosity Hair. Let me tell y'all, I wore that for a week straight. It did not live. It did not slip back. It did not start looking old. You know what I'm saying? It's like the condition of it is really good. I slept with a bonnet on. Along with that, I slept with like a nylon headband on. I didn't have to reapply as much hairspray around the perimeter as needed. And I think it had a lot to do with the way that I put the cap on. But let me tell y'all, if you really want a nice, natural, realistic braid wig that looked like you done sat in that chair for some hours, the hunties check out fabulosity here so your hair is going to come in a bag like this it's about 10 to 15 business days to create a wig they also do have some in stock you know there's different colors that you can choose from these are full lace wigs but they are braid wigs it's made with 100 human hair virgin hair it's also synthetic hair which is also used to braid into the wig there are bleach knots okay she does include an elastic band and there is combs in the unit so you get a lot of things that will help your wig stay in place okay you will get a stocking cap with your unit so this one is perfect this is my color i'm gonna show you guys how i do the ball head stocking cap method so this is sheila she is gorgeous she's super long okay the ends on this look so nice and let me tell y'all she smells so good she smells so good this is one you can either put up in a ponytail or a bun so i'm gonna definitely put it up in a bun because you know i love a bun hunt this, okay this wig is bomb this right here in the front is the baby hair so that way you can customize them you don't have to keep all of them okay you don't you can customize them this is the lace color it has bleach knots semi bleached i'm gonna say semi bleached because i still see the knots but i did use some uh concealer and makeup on mine and very lightly you couldn't even tell because they're not bad inside the cap like i said it's a full lace wig so you have the combs in the front right here you have three of them in the front so if you don't wear a stocking cap then you can use a comb but if you have a stocking cap on i'm pretty sure you could pierce through it there's an elastic band sewn on it okay and in the back is a comb and the adjustable strap okay so girl look she's so pretty oh my god these braids are so neatly braided i have never been able to braid this neat these are like really really done nicely this wig is like gorgeous she's absolutely gorgeous i'm excited okay i don't have to do my hair for like a week this does cut down on video times but you know what a girl got plenty of videos that need to be edited so i am not even worried i like when i have easy breezy hairstyles like when i wore that wig for a week straight i didn't have to do nothing but just get up put my makeup on if i chose to i didn't have to worry about curling nothing i didn't have to worry about let me tell y'all this made my life so much easier oh the first thing we're gonna do y'all we're gonna we're gonna hook up the stocking cap to apply my stocking cap just to make sure that it looks like it's bald head you know what I'm saying it stays on i do use this which is the got to be glam force holding spray it's 48 hour holding spray but it holds more than that if you know how to to maintain your wig then i also use their matching gel this is also a 48 hour hole now when it comes out of the tube it is wetter it's more runny it's not as thick so what i do i don't use it directly out of the tube i never do i noticed one time when i just put it in a little bottle to take with me that it kind of like oxidizes so it gets thicker 
and it also is a little bit more pastier. It also dries quicker. So I keep some in just any type of empty container that's clean. And once it's in here, it takes like a little while and it gets a little bit thicker and it also dries a lot faster. So this is a lot easier versus just putting it straight on out the tube because of the consistency. So if you do have like a little empty bottle or whatever, you can always go to Dollar Tree, get you an empty bottle and just put this in there. And this will definitely make a world of difference. And then, you know, I got my stocking cap. So we're about to get into this video real quick. So I don't have you guys all day. Plus, I really want to see how this look, girl. So, all right, you guys. So let's get into this. As you guys see, my stocking cap has already had been cut. I do think once you cut the middle, it will stay a lot easier. It will allow the stocking cap not to slip back. So as you guys see, I'm taking my Glam Force hairspray by got to be this stuff i actually really do like it it dries quickly plus the 48 hour hole can actually end up being longer if you tie your hair at night so i'm just going to take that spray and i'm spraying it all around the hairline along with that i'm spraying it on the cap so that way the cap can stick to my hair and i'm going to blow dry this on a cool to medium heat until it's nice and dry this does dry rather quickly, so keep that in mind. If you cannot find this in stores, you can definitely check out Ulta or Ulta Online. This sometimes is on sale for $4.99 and the shipping is quite fast. So now that I've applied the hairspray and I've allowed it to dry, I'm just going to spray a second coat on. This step is optional, but if you really want your wig to stick, and that's with any wig, braid wig, or just regular loose hair wig, you can definitely spritz this a second time and just blow dry it until you think that it's dry. It only takes about a couple of minutes and it's blow dry. And it's dry. Now it's time to cut the wig cap. The most important thing to this to me is make sure you have a small pair of scissors. If you have a larger pair, it's going to be a little bit difficult to get really close and without having to cut yourself and end up in the ER, girl, just get you a small pair of scissors. They're really cheap. You can get them at the dollar store or any local pharmacy or Walmart or Target. And you want to just cut below that hairspray. And if you feel like you've cut or you, excuse me, if you feel like you have hairspray down just a little bit too far, you can just lift it up and then trim away the excess wig cap. You want to try to get this as neat as possible. Don't worry about any of the hairspray on your skin. You can definitely clean that up towards the end. So as you guys see, I'm just trimming away some spots where I think it was just a little bit too far down. And now to the next step is my Glam Force Gel, which I have in the jar. I'm just going to use a little plastic knife and I'm just going to apply that for the first coat. And I'm going to make sure that I take that gel and I apply it to the edges of the stocking cap so that way everything lays neatly and also lays flat. And you don't need to apply a lot, especially for the first coat. And like I said, if you put it in a jar, it will definitely oxidize a lot faster and the drying time will be a lot quicker. Plus the application method will be a lot easier and less messy. I'm just going to take my rat tail cone and I'm just going to hold down one of the ends right here and as I'm blow drying it on that same cool to medium heat I'm just going to press into the wig cap with the rat tail comb this is optional but I just like to make sure that the wig cap is laid flat to my um, to my hairline or to my to my head and as you guys see this is below my hairline a lot below my hairline so You just want to keep blow drying this. You don't have to wait till it's tacky. You can actually blow dry it till it's completely dry. That's what I do. And once I feel like this has dried completely, because this part right here will take like a minute or so. But if you use the method of putting it in a jar, it will dry a lot faster. And then I'll apply a second coat. This is optional, like I said as well. But my last braid wig actually lasted a whole entire week without it lifting. I had to remove it myself. And that was because it was time to wash my hair. But I'm just gonna go ahead and blow dry it some more. And in the midst of that, I'm just gonna spray a little bit of hairspray, you know, just for good measures. You know, good luck. And now 
now it's time to style this wig as you guys see I'm gonna go ahead I'm going to cut the lace off and I went ahead and did that and now I'm going to just unbraid some of those baby hairs and apply this wig and I did unbraid some of the hair in the back so that way I can get to it much easier and look guys for real I'm telling you guys this wig looks so natural I'm really impressed the first one was amazing and so is this one you know what I'm saying this these wigs make life so much easier I swear you don't have to do your hair you don't have to get up just put your wig on girl and go now once you get once you get time well once it's time you want to go ahead and remove the lace on the front of your hairline make sure not to cut into the actual baby hairs that are braided if you need to unbraid it prior to cutting the lace then go ahead and do that make sure you clip those baby hairs up and then when you're done get your fingers ready and just unbraid those baby hairs now of course they are rather long so this is optional this is up to you this is your preference but for me girl I'm gonna make sure that these look a little bit natural so I'm going to cut them as short as um, I prefer along with that I'm just gonna take the small scissors and kind of like cut them in an angle so that way they're not so blunt and as I told you guys this is 100% human hair this is a full lace wig cap so these are 100% human hair baby hairs the whole entire cap is a full lace wig cap so you guys the knots for bleach and if you need to do any customization as you see me doing here which I am just tweezing some of those baby hairs out because I really don't want them to look like I got a bang on my hairline you know I mean if you like your baby hairs or wispy hairs as thick as possible then you know that's on you girl rock it but for me I'm just going to thin them out a little bit just put a good pair of tweezers and just tweeze until you feel that you have enough hair out but just keep in mind that if you tweeze too much it's not growing back so make sure you take your time and check periodically Now, as for the knots, they are really tiny. They're not really that noticeable, but for me, I do like them to look as natural as possible. So prior to me doing anything with the knots, I'm gonna make sure that I've removed all or uh, any of hairspray or gel or whatever's on my hairline. And I'm going to just go ahead and take my got to be Land Forest hairspray. And I'm just going to spray that onto the edges of the lace. And that's right behind the baby, the baby hairs. And like I said, this stuff dries quick, so if you don't have a blow dryer, no worries, but you'll definitely need a blow dryer for the stocking cap method. And I'm just going to take that rat tail comb and press into the lace with my blow dryer on cool to medium heat. Now it's time to style those baby hairs and I'm just going to spray some of that hairspray onto my toothbrush and just style them. Now after I went ahead and styled them, I did notice that the one two front braids were a little bit too tucked behind my ears. They were pushing my ears forward. So I went ahead and I unbraided the first two braids on the side so that way I was able to pull it forward. And you will notice that after I went ahead and put this hair in a bun. The elastic that I'm using is just actually a headband that I just cut open. You can get these at the Dollar Tree. They come probably like 12 in a pack. I love these for just putting a ponytail in any type of wig or your own natural hair. And I'm just going to twist that hair around and make me a bun. Girl, this wig is so neatly braided. I actually really do think it's pretty. They did an amazing job with braiding these. And unfortunately, when I took out the first two sides, as you guys see right here, my braiding skills are nowhere like theirs. So, you know. At least it's not that noticeable. So just to camouflage those knots a little bit, because they're not as bad, they're not really that noticeable, but I just really want it to look as natural as possible. I'm just gonna take some of my concealer and I'm also going to apply that in between the braids. And then once I'm done applying my concealer, I would have placed some of my pressed powder on it, but I did that off camera and there you have it, girls. one like this took me a minute to finish only because I don't really care for my ears to be out so I went and kind of like changed just a little bit I just unbraided it one braid on each side and just pulled it forward rebraided it now in no way in shape or form are my braids 
anywhere as neat as these. Like these are the neatest braids ever. Okay, so mine's, they look acceptable, but they look nothing like this. So don't ever ask me to make your braid wig. Girl, this wig is gorgeous. Okay, I really like this if it's nice and snug. Okay, I like the fact that you can put it in a bun. Or if you want it in a ponytail, you could definitely do that. But this one is so easy to wear. This is a keeper. I like the Tasha one and I like this one. I like them both so much. This is cute. Boys, you could definitely check out fabulosity hair i will definitely link the information below for this unit this is gorgeous like look okay girl look i'm gonna change into an outfit of the day or several of them but definitely check all the information out below for fabulosity hair i love this sheila unit she is rather cute i'm saying like just you can just wear Okay, you guys, so this part of the video is being sponsored by Lovely Wholesale, where you can find a lot of trendy, affordable fashion for a fraction of the price. Keep in mind that the sizes do run small, so please make sure that you check the measurement chart charts prior to ordering. The pieces that I have on did quite fit a little bit too small, but for the price, you can't beat that. Just make sure to check all of the measurement charts. Did I forget to mention the hair was 32 inches? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check all of the information below. I love you guys. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up, and as always, stay deep and deep. Beliefs.